In this video, let's go through the steps necessary to create a sectional perspective. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and create a section view since I don't have one yet in the project. I'm just going to cut straight through the spine here in this conceptual massing and just place my section view. I'm going to deselect. Let's just click on this and I can open up that section that we're going to generate a sectional perspective from. That gives me a section view that will now appear down on my browser over here is section one. Let's just rename it while we're here. Section A A. All right. Now I'm going to come back up to my 3D view. And let's rename this as well. We're going to rename it sectional perspective. And click OK. The reason it's important to make sure you have a section through the area that you want to create your sectional perspective is here's our next step. We're going to come over here to the compass that surrounds our view steering cube and I'm going to right click. I'm going to come down to orient to view, sections, and now it allows me to pick my sectional pers my section. Now you'll see we're cutting through but it goes ahead and orients us looking you know, perpendicular as though we're still in section. However, we're going to come back up to our view cube and I'm just going to click on any one of these top axon views and you'll see that we now see this thing in perspective. This is our sectional perspective. While we're here, I'm going to go ahead and manipulate a visibility and graphics override so that I can make sure that my floors appear as though they're cut through and I show the, the poche or the solid fill that would be incorporated. So let's go ahead up here to our properties menu and I'm going to go ahead and click on my visibility and graphics. And I'm just going to come down to my floors, come across to the pattern, and let's override this pattern to color. Let's give it a black color. And for the pattern, let's come down to our solid fill and click OK for that. I'm going to repeat the process, come down to my roofs, come across to the cut pattern, and change that here as well. While we're in here, let's also do our curtain system. And lastly, our walls. Now you can see we have a sectional perspective. It's not a physical model, but it gives us a great graphical representation that we can move and you'll see that the box that it gives us here allows us to actually continue to manipulate. It started with that section but if I want to click and drag from any one of these you see I can kind of begin to manipulate where exactly I'm cutting just by controlling my grips here. And this works in both directions. You have your grips to just be able to draw back and manipulate if I wanted to cut through a particular unit. I'm able to cut in both directions. And this is a great view that to use for a circulation diagram. I can do an overlay showing the circulation and so forth. I'm going to click on this box again. This section. I hope this video has been helpful for you.